Dr. Thomas Haynes from the Institute for National Strategic Studies, National Defense University, spent the last three days briefing counterinsurgency best practices and touring NATO training mission Afghanistan. Um, I was last in Afghanistan in 2003, so there have been major changes. Obviously, there's been an enormous acceleration on developing the Army and a great deal more effort on the police. I think that's been one of the interesting things. Consistently, every Afghan I've talked to brings up corruption at senior levels as being the senior, uh, most significant problem Afghanistan faces. In the past, um, corruption is overcome not by individuals making a stand, but more by developing a system of checks and balances, a system to audit, to, to track. So NTMA has got to be building that into the systems for both the Army and the police security services, and then has to work with the embassy and part of rule of law to build it into the other um, ministries across the Afghan government. Well, essentially, COIN uh, consists generally of two parts, providing security for the people and providing good governance. Security has to be there first, obviously, as an essential element, and that's NTMA's mission, is to get the security forces in position to do that. And again, success or failure will depend upon whether the Afghan government can provide governance. From Kabul, I'm Technical Sergeant Sean Henriquez, NATO Training Mission, Afghanistan.